Okay, guys, we are back for Night Tigers. Exciting comics. This was a really fun leaf casting project, in my opinion. And I think we did a very nice job. So what are we going to do? What I want to do is I want to just take the cover right from the leaf casting table. And we're going to put it flat on my shelving unit just like this okay then we're gonna waste some paper we're gonna waste some trees i'm gonna take a piece of paper towel just like this and i'm going to smooth it out now i use a spoon i see that people on the comic book conservation facebook page and I've been saying that a lot for this upload. And like I said, this is dedicated for you guys. And we're going to roll it. We're going to use a rolling pin. I know Peter Alice from Salem, Massachusetts. He uses a rolling pin. He follows my tips and tricks. And Peter is a great guy, Peter. And I know you're going to know I'm mentioning your name because you watch the majority or if not all of my uploads. We're going to put another paper towel down just like this. Okay. And we are going to blot it. But I'll tell you right now, I don't like the way this piece of Holly Tex is laying. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to blot a lot of the moisture out. We're going to blot a lot of the water out of the pulp, just like this using a paper towel. And I think I'm going to wind up taking this piece of Holitex off because it's not smooth to my liking. And don't try to remove a piece of Holitex off of the leaf casting until you get a lot of the water out, okay? Because if you try to remove the Holitex from leaf casting, a lot of times it will pull the leaf casting off of the job. And then you waste your time. And we don't like wasting our time on Jerry the Jitterbug's channel, right? We like to do things not wasting our time. So let's now take this off and we're going to blot. And I'm going to smooth it out. And hopefully I took enough of the moisture out. And let me see if I can lift this Holly Tex up. Nice and slow, nice and gentle. You take your time. See right there, it lifted the pulp. So if that's the case, what I'll do is I'll press the pulp down, right? And let's see if I can take it off slowly without lifting. Without lifting the pulp. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And I'm throwing this out. This is garbage. Garbage, right? Now let's pull this a little bit. And then also what I like to do when I have it wet like this, I like to go like this with the brush. And then what we do is if I look around and I see that there is any type of pulp that got on the graphics, I take it off. And right here I see a piece of the cover that was not covered, meaning a gap in the cover that was not covered. So all you do is you go back and you put a few little drops just like this. You don't have to do it when the suction table is on. Look, boop, boop, boop. And, and, and you have to do the sound effects. If you don't do the sound effects, you're wasting your time. So ready, watch, ready? Boop, boop. And right here, I, I, I see a little thin piece I don't like. See, boop, boop. But you have to do the sound effects. Because if you don't do the sound effects, boop, it's not going to work. Okay? And I'm going to, hopefully people in the comic book conservation community know 
about the sound effects. So you have to listen to me, guys. Ready? Watch this. Boop. See? And then I want a little bit more here. Boop. So make sure you do the boop. If you don't make the sound effects, it's not going to work, okay? So let's go through it. Let's see if we can find pieces of pulp. Like right here, I see some pulp. See, I brush it away like this. Boop. And I take my, my paper towel, just like this, and we lift up the graphics. Graphics. Uh, I don't think so, Jerry the Jitterbug. You're not lifting up the graphics. I mean, lift up the pulp. Right here is a little weak spot of the pulp. I can see the white going through. So, boop, boop, I put it through. So, I do a quick perusal. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm, we're covering the gaps very nicely, okay? I'm looking, looks good, looks good. Beep, 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 beep. I'm liking what I'm looking at. So now I have to find another piece of polytex. I'm going over to my side here. Hopefully I have it. If not, I'm gonna use a piece of Ramey I have. Let's see, I'm going through on the side, guys. Hopefully I can find it. I'm in my drawer where I have a bunch of different cut pieces of Rene, Holly text, and I want to do it right. Let me see if this will work. This is a piece of, nope, not good enough. I'm going to use a piece of, of Rene. I have a piece of Rame right here for the interior. And the interior, I don't mind Rame because it gives it a little texture. For the exterior of the leaf casting, I always like to use Holytex because Holytex is a lot smoother. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the leaf casted cover and I'm going to put it on my grate just like this because we're going to get ready for putting it into my press. Now I was told by Dr. Paul that it is not a book binding press and he was very passionate about it on one of the live uploads where he wants the proper terminology used. And I did research it, and kudos to him, because my Big Bertha, or as I used to refer to it as a bookbinding press, it's not the proper terminology. What it is, is a copy press. And it basically is based on the, the space between the bottom plate and the top plate. So it's a copy press. So I am, I stand to be corrected. So I'm going to put this in my copy press right now. But what we want to do is we want to put a piece of paper towel down on the bottom. And then I'm going to put a piece of paper towel on top, just like this. I'm sure Mike, night time, you don't mind me saying book binding press. I know Mike doesn't care just as long as his book is getting done. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put another shelving unit on top and I'm going to put this in Big Bertha, my book binding press. And we're going to wrench down on it. Not too tight, but we're going to wrench down on it. And we're going to leave it overnight. So let me know, Comic Book Conservation Community Facebook page. Did I answer some questions in regards to leaf casting? Let's see if you comment. Let's see if you watch. Let's see if you enjoy. Because I'm going to post this 
it's probably going to be about three uploads, this whole thing right now. And I'll post it on the comic book community Facebook page. The thumbnails with my hot chicks that I like to put on. And let me know. So thank you. And I appreciate your support. And stay tuned. Thank you.